Hello, my name is Alex and I love crafting and Disney. I live in Germany, so please be kind with me making grammatical or pronouncing mistakes. Today I want to show you three Disney DIY ideas with cork. We will decorate a photo frame, make a pin or a noteboard and make a coaster. First we need to soften up the cork. Take a pot and make it cook. We soften up the cork to work with it easier and especially to cut it easier. Every now and then we want to stir a little, so that everything is evenly wet and soaked with water. If we have the impression that the cork is swelled, we can put it out and place it on a towel. Please be careful here, the cork is still very hot. Use a proper tool like I do or a fork and a spoon. After the cork is cooked but not dried, we can start cutting the cork into slices. Please watch out while working with a knife. If you are under the age of 14 or a little scared, ask somebody for help. After cutting, we let the cork dry completely. That way we can work with it perfectly and it won't mildew, I hope I pronounce this right, which we want to avoid. For our first idea, we need a picture frame, cardboard, scissors, a pencil, a hot glue gun or another strong glue and cork. I choose the heads and the ends of the cork because I thought they look very nice. First we take the glass, in my case it's a plastic, out of the frame and trace the shape of it on the cardboard. Then we cut it out and we put the frame back together without the glass. Now we start with arranging the cork in a nice way. Make sure to take your time, because this is going to be our final result, which shall look good. If we are happy with our result, we can glue it down. While working with a hot glue gun, please be careful and don't burn yourself. If you do, quickly put the affected spot under running cold water and wait for a minute. In my experience, I can tell you it really helps. It doesn't hurt anymore and your blister is going to be smaller. I had a little cork left. With two little pieces and one big, you can easily create a Mickey Mouse hat to add a little extra Disney touch. This is how the frame looks now. If you like it simple, you can keep it like that. I collect Disney pins and that's why I took two smaller pins out of my collection to attach some photos on my frame. I pre-made holes in my photos to prevent the pins or the photos from breaking. This is the final result. I am quite happy with the outcome. And I think that this idea is as well a cute idea for a gift. It took me about an hour to make this and calculated without tools, did this cost me around 2 euros. The next DIY is supposed to be a pin board for notes or pins. You need cardboard, a hot glue gun, a pencil, cork and in this particular case a screwdriver and a mirror. 
I got this mirror from Primark and in my case I wasn't happy with the quality of the mirror. That's why I decided to transform it into a pinboard. We need to unscrew the back. After the unscrewing, we trace the figure of the mirror on our cardboard. I cut out a rectangle as well, because there was a little writing visible which I wanted to hide. Then I put everything back together. If you don't own this mirror, you can achieve a similar result with cutting out a Mickey head out of a hard cardboard and attaching a string on the back. Then you can continue and follow the next steps. We want now to arrange the cork from the outside to the inside before gluing it down. Once we are happy with our results, we can glue it down. Again, I use hot glue gun, but another strong glue should work too. Now we just let everything dry and then we might decorate the board with notes, pins or photos. The last idea I have for you is a Disney coaster. You will need paper, a harder plastic, like it's on toy wrappings, scissors, a pencil, a waterproof marker, mine is black but you can choose whatever color you like, your hot glue gun and cork. First we take the paper and draw a Mickey hat with the help of mugs and glasses. Then we place the cork on it to see if it's a nice shape. Because I was happy with mine, I took my marker and transferred the head onto the plastic. This needs to be cut out then. We put back our cork and we hot glue everything down. Empty spaces I filled with little cork pieces. Now we want to switch the coaster and paint it black. We let the color dry and we have created a nice coaster that can handle a hot mug. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or ideas, please post them in the comments. Also feel free to correct my language mistakes. You can find me on Instagram under the name Alex Einhorn Disney. 
I am trying to upload many new DIYs, Disney themed or not, each week. Goodbye!